Hello everyone. My name is Ms. Lopez, along with my partner Ms. Angie, and we are both counselors from the Lancaster School District. Today we are going to be talking about community financial resources that you can find here in the Antelope Valley or within LA County. At the end of the video, we will have a page that has all of the links from the resources that we talk about, so you don't have to feel rushed to write them down as we go over them. So let's get started. The first resource that we will be talking about is Spectrum. So on this page, you can find information on internet, TV, mobile devices, anything that you might need help with. The information is also in Spanish if you click right here. So if you scroll down to the page, you can find all the resources that you need to get support. The next resource that we will be talking about is Alliance for Children's Rights. This website is especially for children and teens in the foster care system and the families who are caring for them. If you continue to scroll, you're going to find all the resources that you need. So right here, you go to the section that says COVID-19 resources for our community. And here you can see the list of resources that they offer. Food assistance, health care, housing and emergency aid, education, learning at home and technology, child wel welfare and benefits, employment and financial assistance, frequently asked questions, webinars and meetings, and much more. If you continue to scroll down, you can find the federal, state, and county orders, policy, and advocacy. So let's scroll up and let's go to the food assistance tab right here. So if you click on the food assistance, you can see all of the resources that they offer right here. CalFresh, Pandemic EBT, California WIC, and resources especially for the students. If you need resources for housing and emergency aid, you have the tab that focuses on rental assistance, evictions, protections regarding evictions in Los Angeles, And once again, resources especially for the students. You have the section of frequently asked questions regarding housing. If you need resources for employment and financial assistance, So you can, you can find information there, and if you click on these, it takes you directly to the site where you can actually get more information, such as requirements and how to actually apply for the resource. So let's go back to our main page. And so here you continue to uh, be able to see all of the resources that are left. So like I said, um, this does focus on resources for foster students and the caregivers care taking care of them, <coughs> but it also has resources for anyone who is not a foster student as well. One more thing that I also wanted to point out, if we scroll all the way up, is that right here it says the list below is updated daily. So that lets you know that all of the resources here are updated and therefore um, 
you are going to see things that are current and not things that have expired or are currently not available anymore. So that's a good thing. Now moving on to our next resource, which is findhelp.org. So this is the main page and right here the really good thing about this one is that you start off with just putting your zip code. That way it finds the resources that are, are, are available just for your, your zip code or your area. So right here we are going to put in one of the zip codes for Lancaster and we are going to click search. And so here you see all of the resources that are avail available for Lancaster. So it's 5,373 programs serving just Lancaster. So if you scroll up here, you find you can see the resources for food, housing, goods, transportation, health, money, um, work. So it's a lot of resources. So if we click on food, it brings us back to these tabs right here. So you have the option of clicking if you need resources for emergency food, food delivery, food pantry, if you need help paying for the food and the meals that are available. So let's click on one of these. Let's go to emergency food. And so we click on emergency food and there's 39. And so here you see all of the resources that are available for emergency food. So if you scroll down, you see, for example, grocery delivery. And so right here it says, it tells you who it's serving. So seniors and COVID-19 and the main services and the next steps right here. So if you are interested or you qualify or you believe that you qualify, then you go on to the next steps. So here you can see that they do have a lot of stuff that's available for um, for everyone with the COVID response. And so you continue to scroll down and you can see everything that they offer regarding the food. So it's a lot of stuff that's available. So if we click back We go back to food and let's say that we need resources for, you know, paying our food. So we have right here the government food benefits and there's 53 available. And it takes you to all of the resources that they have here. So some for next steps, some if you qualify you can go directly to their application and for others it takes you to the next steps. So you have plenty of resources to look through and to choose and to see if you qualify. And if you believe that you do qualify, then you click on the next steps. So let's go back. We are looking for information on housing. So we have help for help pay for housing. So let's click on the help pay for housing. And so right here it gives you the options. Help pay for internet, for utilities, or for housing housing vouchers. So let's click on the housing vouchers. And so here it gives you all of the resources that are available for um, housing vouchers. And so you look through and you see who they're serving and if you qualify or if you just have questions to see if you qualify, then you can look for the information right here or you can continue on to the next steps. So some of these um, are targeted to a certain population, like for example, this one would be um, the, the veteran population. But there's 
all kinds of resources for everyone. If you are homeless, you have the Homeless Family Motel Voucher Program. So it's a lot of information, a lot of resources that are available. If we go back and we can either continue to look for some more housing options or we can continue on to another tab. So let's jump into the money. So if we go to the money section, we find that we have financial education, financial assistance, um, information on insurance, on loans, on tax preparation. So if you see right here, you can find all of these resources for financial assistance. And so we pick one, and so we want help paying for child care. And so it gives us everything that's offered to help assist with child care. So we go back. So Find Help is a really, really good resource, um, especially because it gives you everything that is um, around your area. So you just have to put in your zip code or your city that you're looking for and it compiles everything and it makes it very easy for you to just find resources regarding food, regarding housing, anything like that. So um, if you are in need of any type of resources, Find Help is definitely a great website to use. Hello everyone, this is Miss Angie and I'm going to go over the second half of our presentation today. We're going to talk about the Antelope Valley Partners for Help and you can find those at www.avph.org and 211la.org. Now, let's see if we can explore the AVPH website really quick and just talk about some of the programs that they offer. All right, so this is the Antelope Valley Partners for Health uh, main page. I went ahead and loaded it up. Now we can go scroll down. Their hours are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number is listed right here on the top, 661-942-4719. Can just scroll down just to see who they're partnered with. They're partnered with Children's, Children's Bureau, CalFresh, WIC, Healthy Families, we count LA and LA Care. I have great videos on how to stay active and creative at home. Okay. So now we're going to dive into some of the programs they have. I'm going to start with the family service programs. They have great support groups for families. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so they do home visitation for healthy families, and then they also have a home visitation for welcome baby. If you know of anyone who's had a baby recently, this is a great program. They will come and visit the new the new parents at home. Check to see how they're doing. Check to see how the baby's doing. Um, talk to them about developmental screening creative ideas for play, positive parenting. They are a great resource for parents and caregivers. They have a great uh, support group. I've also seen that with this baby program, they also help with formula, diapers, sometimes even helping as far as getting a crib or a car seat and stroller. They have a lactation center with lactation consultant. And if we scroll down, Antelope Valley Partners for Health is also a food pantry. So every second and fourth Friday of the month, you can come in and get help with um, recipes, um, food, I just food and hot meal ideas. You can click here, get more information, just contact information of where they're located at. So let's get their address really quick. Let's see if it'll open up. 
Okay, so the address is located right here on your right. It is 44226 10th Street West, Lancaster. Right now they are closed to the public, so please make sure you call if you're planning to visit all so that they can go ahead and redirect you to the, what, what day is best to visit. All right, we're gonna jump into the senior service program that they have, I believe it's like handy, handy worker program. They help come and um, the Anadolu Valley Partners for Health comes and does minor repairs at your house. So electrical repair, installation of smoke detectors, plumbing, window replacement, all to help the elderly residents. So this is really great. Okay, let's jump over to 211. Uh, 211 LA, one of the most important programs I think that we need to talk, to, talk about right now is the LA County Rent Relief Program. It started August 17th. Now, it started August 17th, but it's also closing in August, so August 31st. So please, 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 if you need help with rent relief, fill out the information, call them. Make sure you're filling it out, visiting the website, calling 211, getting as much information on it as you can. It says apply here. It doesn't look like too long of an application. Let me just go ahead and show you. Scroll down. But yes, hopefully your computer doesn't act up like mine is. And then you just fill out your information. All right. One thing I love about the 2-on-1 website is it's very easy not to, right? Sorry about that. Very easy to navigate. Tongue twister. They make it easy by breaking it all down with different categories. So we talked about housing. Let's see what else they have for COVID support. So they have food support, they have income support, they have rent support, tons of different things here. Um, also information on where you can get tested. So please, if you need different resources, visit or call 211. All right, that is it for me today. So thank you guys so much for your time. Here is a list of all the resources resources that we talked about today. So www.spectrum.net, kidsalliance.org, findhelp.org, avph.org, and 211la.org. I'm going to leave this up just for a few minutes so you can go ahead and write them down. Feel free to pause the video. Write them all down if you need to. We hope that this was helpful and informative. Thank you so much again for your time.